Hey guys, what's up? It's Catherine. Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be doing a customize my MacBook video. It took me a second to figure out which video we were doing, some pre-filming, and I also just realized I totally didn't change my shirt. So you're probably going to see two videos from me in the same fit in the same spot. <laughs> if you guys are new, my name is Catherine. I put out lots of lifestyle videos, such as productive vlogs, Amazon favorites, routine videos, monthly favorites, all those kinds of things. So if that sounds like something you guys are interested in, definitely subscribe, stick around, and don't forget to leave a thumbs up on this video if you wanna see more like it. Also, don't forget to go follow me over on Instagram. We're getting super close to 10K. We are like 300 away as of right now. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, make sure to go follow me over there. I think I might do like a fun giveaway or something once I hit 10K. So definitely go follow me if you wanna win a fun prize. I bought the new 16 inch MacBook on Monday, I think it was, and I did a full unboxing video for you guys. I will link that down below. If you guys haven't seen that, you wanna check it out. So this baby is like brand new. I have not customized a single thing on it. So we're just gonna start from scratch to go through and customize it all. And uh, I'm just gonna walk you guys through how I'm gonna customize my MacBook. So let's hop into it. Okay, we are gonna go through. I need to start the screen recording for you guys. Um, and then we're just gonna go through <laughs> and start it all. I'm so excited to customize this. I have been waiting to do this because I wanted to film it for you guys. I know you guys wanted to see it, so I've literally been putting it off the whole time, even though I've been wanting to do this, like literally since I purchased it and I had it in my hands. Okay, I think I got it to work now. Let's start record. Okay, so as you guys can see here at the bottom, the dock is just filled with stuff that I'm honestly not going to use every single day. I usually just go into the launch pad and then find the apps from there. Okay, so here we're going to go ahead and get rid of mail because I use Gmail, so I don't actually use the mail app that they have on Apple. We're going to get rid of maps off my dock since I'm not going to use that very often. Neither with photos, we're going to remove that, my contacts. Uh, reminders I don't use on here. Um, I don't typically use the notes app. I don't do podcasts. <laughs> um, I don't need Apple TV on here either. I think I have a like free subscription now for it now that I have this new laptop. Um, so that's interesting. I don't need numbers. I'm gonna remove that. I don't use Keynote too often. More pages like these are all ones that I can just easily go into the finder and find these again like these aren't ones that I like desperately need but some of these I do want to keep on here okay so now at the bottom I'm just gonna keep finder I use that a ton to go ahead and search for stuff on my laptop we're gonna keep the launch pad Safari FaceTime messages my calendar because I like being able to see the date right there um, and then my iTunes because I use that a lot for all of my music so anytime I'm downloading music from Epidemic Sound which is where I get my music from for videos um, I go ahead and I get saved into my Apple music and then I can go ahead from Apple music and like import that into my Final Cut um, project so I always have that open then we've got Final Cut Pro, Handbrake, and then System Preferences. And then we're using QuickTime Player right now to go ahead and um, do the screen recording. So I'm going to leave that open. Okay, um, I am going to put my downloads in the trash. And then we're also going to go ahead and clear some of this stuff that's on my desktop right now since I already used it and I don't need it or want it on here like this vlog I just uploaded, so I don't need that footage. And then these screenshots I do not need. Okay, this stuff we're gonna keep. Um, we are gonna go ahead and change this folder name to just, how do I do that? There we go, just YouTube. So this is gonna be all my YouTube stuff that I have on here. Okay, so. We fixed the dock, that is good. Next thing that I want to do is add um, the little Flicklow 
clock. I have that on my last laptop and I love it. So we're gonna go ahead and go ahead, go download that. So it's Flick Blue screensaver. Um, I know everybody pretty much has this if you have a Mac or um, you just like aesthetics. So we are gonna go ahead and get the screensaver. You're gonna scroll all the way down. Let's see, where's the free download? Screensaver, that's what I wanted. Okay, now it's a free download. I was like, wait a minute, it costs money since when? Okay, so you scroll all the way to the bottom, you hit download. We are gonna allow, allow that to download. And then, okay, so now that it's downloaded, we're gonna go ahead and open the file. I think you have to like save it onto your computer. Okay, so let's see. We are going to go into our settings. Um, no, no, I don't want to update my software right now. Let's see. Where's my display, desktop and screensaver? Okay, so I need to go back in here and install it on my computer. So then um, down here at the bottom, it says Flicklow. And then you were just going to go ahead and save it like that. Oh, the other thing that I want to add on here is hot corners. These are super handy. Um, if you just want to be able to like lock your computer really quickly or like put your screensaver on um, or like switch it to something else. I love having these. So we are going to go ahead and have the top one. Um, what do I want? Okay, the top one, we're going to be able to lock the screen. Um, and then we're going to put the display to sleep. Actually, no, I don't want... Okay, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, no, we're going to do lock screen on that side. And then we're just going to do um, start screensaver on that side. So I can just go ahead and click. I'm not going to put anything on the top ones because I don't really need anything else. So that is super simple and handy. So you can just go ahead and go there. And then that pops up. And cool, we're still screen recording, it didn't cancel. Okay, so now that we have that there, that is set up. Now I need to change my actual desktop photo. So this is how I'm just gonna go ahead and try to find a cute desktop photo. So we're just gonna go to, we're gonna go to Google, handy old Google. And we are gonna go ahead and search MacBook screen, no, wallpaper. Wallpaper, I usually do like HD, so it's like a nice photo. Um, and then we're gonna put aesthetic in there. Keyword, so we can find a cute one. Normally I would just like make my own, but I didn't do that before this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and have to find one on Google and we shall see what I can find up, come up with. That's what I was trying to say. Oh, does this cute little star one? Says let it snow. Well, it's not winter time, so <laughs> I guess that one doesn't really work. What is this? Um, I just want like a cute, simple one, like nothing too crazy. Um, the beach is pretty. The beach is always pretty. Okay, I think this is the same person that I found a cute wallpaper through last time. Yeah, so this girl, Candidly Carrie, this is where I found a cute um, background on my old laptop. So she has some cute ones in here. Let's see what this says. Follow your bliss, that's kind of cute. I also kind of like this one that just says like, good things take time. Ooh, actually this little brown one, or brown, 
green one is cute. I think we're gonna download that. That is cute, okay. So we're just gonna go ahead and use image as desktop picture. So shout out to candidlycarry.com for that cute little um, download that she has. She has a ton of other cute ones on here. This girl knows where it's at, yes, I love this. Oh, that one's cute too. Okay, wait, wait, wait. You guys, this one is about coffee. You guys know I love my coffee. So <laughs> I think we need this one. Coffee in one hand, confidence in the other. I love it. This is cute. Okay, you know what? We're using this one. Use image as desktop picture. We're good, we're set. Okay, so now we have a cute background on here. Yes, I love it, I love it. This is adorable. Okay, she's got so many other ones. So if you guys are looking for a cute desktop wallpaper, check out this site. Like, This is the second time that I found a really cute one on her site. I love it. I'm obsessed. Okay, so now we have this uh, super cute background. We've got our dock looking nice. This is exactly what I need on my dock. And then we also have our nice little screensaver. When you go down here in the corner, it starts the screensaver. And here we go, okay. The other thing that I want to do is go ahead and change the little um, folder icons. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to Safari and I was thinking about it yesterday. I think I want like little iced coffees <laughs> as my folder images. So let's see if we can find a PNG version of iced coffees. So iced coffee PNG, but like I want it to be a drawing not like an actual photo of it. You feel me? Let's see, that's a cute one. That one's not a PNG though. These are not PNGs. Nope, that one's not either. Some of these like aren't actual PNGs and it's super confusing. Okay, this might be a little too difficult for that. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna go to Pick Monkey. This is my little this is my little hack. Anytime I want something that like is my own thing, if that makes sense. Um, so we're gonna go into Pick Monkey. I pay for like the upgraded version. I don't think I pay for like the full full version of everything yet. So we're gonna go ahead and crop this. I need to make it smaller, I think, because I don't want it to be like this giant thing. So we're gonna make it like two by three. No, probably smaller, but I don't want it to be like <laughs> that. We're just gonna do a square. Okay, we're gonna do the square. We're gonna apply that, and then we're gonna go ahead and go into the background color. Open background palette. Let's see, pick a color and we're gonna go ahead and hit transparent. We're gonna make a transparent background because that's what we need. Otherwise, it'll be like a full image, like a full square image and I don't want that. So then we're gonna go to graphics. So they have a lot of great graphics in here. Um, I'm pretty sure these are all like copyrighted so I, you can't like make something in PicMonkey and then obviously like sell it as your own. I would not suggest doing that, but this is great if you just want it for like personal use. For like thumbnails and stuff, this is what I use. Uh, it's super easy. So we're gonna go ahead and go into lifestyle. I'm sure they have to have an iced coffee in here. Let's see, coffee. Do they have something cute? That's all I wanna know. Oh, okay, iced coffee and straw. That is cute. What else do we have in here? Frappuccino. I think we're just gonna go with the iced coffee and straw. It's cute, I like it. We're gonna change the colors though, because you know me, I like to stick to like simple aesthetics. So we're gonna make the straw white. We're gonna make the lid, I think like a, maybe a baby pink color I'm thinking. That looks cute. And then we're also gonna make the iced coffee a little bit lighter just for aesthetic purposes. <laughs> we are all about the aesthetics here. Okay, actually, what if I just make it all white? I don't know. 
No, because then that doesn't make sense because then it's like not coffee, you feel? Okay, we're gonna make the lid a different color. I'm not feeling the pink. I think we're just gonna make it white. We're gonna stick with that. That is gonna be my cute little coffee image. Um, I don't know how big this is actually gonna be. So, okay, we are gonna go ahead and download that as a PNG onto my computer so that I can go ahead and use this PNG now to create cute little folders on here. So, okay, let me go ahead and move that to my desktop. So that is gonna be there. Okay, then we are gonna go into the file and then you're gonna go ahead and let's see, get info. So um, we're gonna go ahead and copy this whole thing with um, Command A will bring up everything and then you hit Command C to copy. And then we're gonna hit Command V to paste. There we go, I was just doing the wrong copy and paste method, it's fine. Okay, so now that we have that, Look how cute that is. Okay, it's kind of tiny though. <laughs> so I think we need to go back into PicMonkey and make that graphic a little bit bigger. So we're gonna go back and do that really quick. Uh, the graphic just needs to be a little bit bigger so that it kind of like, I don't know, fills the space a little better. So we're gonna go ahead and make it like more full space there. Okay. There we go. We're gonna re-download that as a PNG. And then I'm gonna go ahead and redrag that onto my computer, replace it. Okay, so we're gonna pop back out of there. We're gonna open this, hit Command A, Command C to copy. We're gonna go back here and hit Command V. Okay, there we go. It made it bigger, it looks better. Um, I just had to mess with the sizing. Sometimes I feel like you never really know. Okay, so we're actually gonna drag and drop the cute little coffee photo into the YouTube folder so that it can hang out there. Okay, the other thing that I don't think I fully mentioned, maybe I did, um, is that I have my computer on dark mode. So if you go into your general settings, I have just every Apple device that I have already on dark mode. I just personally like the way that it looks with everything. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions about my Google Calendar and how that can appear in dark mode on like all of my Apple uh, devices. And it's just because I have my computer and everything set to dark mode already. So we just have that there set it to dark mode, changed it. I don't know, I just don't like light mode. It's like too bright. I just like how dark mode looks on everything. Okay, so I haven't totally transferred any of my files or anything from my old computer yet. So I only have that one little YouTube folder that I needed for um, a video that I already had to edit last week or not last week, the other day. So I think that's gonna be it for this customization video since it's already like 15 minutes long, I think now. So if there's other ways that you guys want to see how I customize my MacBook, like specific things and stuff like that, um, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below and I can go ahead and film another video for you guys. I can do like a little series on my channel. Let me go ahead and stop this screen recording right here. So we're gonna stop that, it's gonna save. Wow, it's been recording for 22 minutes. Okay, this is gonna be a really long video, I apologize. I hope you guys enjoyed it, I hope, um, I gave you some ideas on how you can customize it and where to find cute wallpapers and how to make your own cute little PNG images. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.